Welcome to the best of Central Florida. I am Justin Clark. I will never forget the year was 2002. I was in law school in Boston, hanging out at the Beantown Pub to be exact. A classmate comes over, introduces himself. He said he was from Orlando. I was shocked. I thought Orlando was theme parks, chain restaurants, maybe a water park or two. Who would have thought that now 20 years later, I would have lived here for 15 of them? Who would have thought I would raise my two little girls here? Who would have thought I would fall in love with Central Florida? It's a hidden gem, great restaurants, professional sports teams, booming art scene, Wakaiva River, the beaches, and yes, even the theme parks. From Winter Haven to Winter Park, Port Orange to Poinciana, this is the best of Central Florida. Today is all about family. We're going to take you on some amazing best family weekend activities. Three amazing businesses, all a little bit different. Welcome in, as always, the beautiful Michaela Nichols. Hello, Michaela. How are Hi, you? Hi, Justin. I'm good. You don't have kids yet, but you're I do kind, not. Of, kind of a big kid at heart. Will you admit that at least? I, I can admit that. I'm I, can, <laughs> I can definitely see you attending all of these businesses and uh, spending some time there. I do have a nine year old and a three year old. I feel like our kids these days, at least in my house, are spending a little too much time on that phone, on that YouTube, and we're not out making lasting memories with our family. It's important. It is, and I mean, I think this episode's great for you, Justin. I, I think so. <laughs> this one's all about me. I did it kind of for me. I'm trying to figure out what we can do with my kids. Awesome businesses that we're about to introduce you to. We're gonna do a quick break, but when we return, the top three best family weekend activities. The best family weekend would not be complete without a little food and a little spirits. So with that being said, Michaela's choice is a la carte and I am joined by April and Dustin Williams. Happy to have you here. Thank you, we're happy to be here. Yeah. So, I, you know, standing here right from the beginning, I've just been smelling this amazing food. I guess let's start there. Yeah, so we are a collection of um, six vendors, five food trucks, and we run a craft beer bar as well. And so we brought a smattering here of some of the food that you can expect to find at a la carte. Um, Steak It Easy is Brazilian grilled meats, and this is their picanha with chimichurri sauce. Yeah. Uh, right here we have Smoking Donuts, and they uh, are a collection. The, um, the husband wanted to open up a barbecue restaurant, and the wife wanted a donut <laughs> shop, so they just smashed it together and, and made one delicious food truck. So we got a little bit of brisket and slaw here, and then their signature donut top with burnt ends. Yeah, it's pretty extravagant stuff. Uh, Pokey Kai does fresh pokey bowls, pokey burgers, pretty much anything that you can imagine. They also do some chicken and tofu, so if you're a little raw fish averse, they have options there for you, a lot of fresh fresh options. These, what are these here? And then down at the end we have uh, Swedish, is a Scandinavian uh, food truck. Vivica runs it, she's one of the most interesting people we know. Uh, makes traditional meatballs and, and burgers and it's fantastic. Yeah, she used to be a professional race car driver. <laughs> That's wow. crazy. Yeah. So there's something for, you know, everyone in the family. Oh, yeah. There's usually something for anybody, friends, family, and the one that's missing, um, we were afraid it would melt to bring it to you, is Dolce Picado. They do these over-the-top extravagant milkshakes and waffle pops and just, it's incredible desserts. So at your location, the thing that I love the most is just like the overall general vibe of it, right? I mean, it's open, fresh. Tell us a little bit about that and why, you know, families just love it. Yeah, people thought we were kind of crazy when we opened up a open air, no air conditioned uh, <laughs> location here in Central Florida, but um, it's just kind of nice. We have a nice cross breeze through. We have a nice courtyard. Uh, we can walk around, kind of take a look at all the different trucks and everything that they have. And then we have a covered pavilion that has uh, a craft beer bar inside and you know, a lot of different options in there as well. 
So speaking of food, you know, drinks, and you have events. I think that's something that just separates you all from you know other locations similar. We love events, um, and that's kind of something since we opened, we just dove right in on. So right now it's August. We're in the middle of um, Sour Fest. We are craft beer lovers, as you may have picked up on. And um, early on, we decided to throw uh, ourselves birthday parties. So forgive us for as that. As you should. But yeah. um, his you? birthday, we throw a big uh, IPA bash. And now in August for my birthday, we're like, oh, let's do a Sour Fest bash. So right now that's going on all month long. Every Saturday, you can come out and try a huge lineup of sours. We have live music. And that's this month. Next month, we're going to do Oktoberfest for uh, in September. True German dates there. And then we do a pumpkin fest in October. We just keep it going. That's awesome. Just the party long. just continues. Yeah, we've always oh, yeah. got something fun going on. And on Mondays, I think there's another event coming up as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we uh, are a little bit known for our uh, movie Mondays. So we actually just throw a projector up in the, in the yard and uh, show a free movie. Uh, it's great for you know families to come out and enjoy and relax and yeah have some delicious food, have a drink and watch a movie. So with me and my family, I think like we're big foodies and I think that just like attracts me to just like doing something as a family. What do you think of when you think of a family, you know, just eating together, talking, what is that experience like for you both? We designed it to be very communal. So for us, family can be, you know, your immediate family, your extended family, um, friends but just people coming together and if you want to get meatballs, you know, if you want to get pokey, we can all come together, eat what we want, drink what we want, sit down. And what we find a lot is that some of our regulars have gotten to meet each other and extend their family. And so they come to the events together. It's just really cool. It's about a community coming together and just um, for us beyond that, also our food trucks are our family. So we all really work together to just try to have a good time. It sounds like that. I mean, the, the roster, so to speak, that you've put together is just very incredible. Where can people learn more about a la carte? Yeah, you can always go to our website. It's www.alacart, A-L-A-C-A-R-T, Orlando.com. Uh, and then we have a uh, pretty nice Instagram and Facebook showing. A la carte, Orlando.com. So, yeah. Awesome. Well, April, Dustin, thank you so much for being on the show with us today. And Thanks for having us. Speaking of family, I think I'm going to have to bring my family there and uh, Justin's too. Come in. Be there soon. All right. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. We will be right back after this short break. You have spoken, the people have spoken. People's Choice for Best Weekend Family Activity goes to our great friends over at Butch's Fishing Charters. Captain Butch is here with me today. How are you, Captain? Good, nice to be here. So, what a life, first of all. I'm a little bit jealous of you. This is your business, your life now. You get to take people out fishing, some kind of life. Yes, it is. I love it, and it's, it's a fun thing to do. Talk to me a little bit about what kind of charter you really do. Well, I take people on um, boating excursions on Central Florida Lakes. Boating excursion is more than just getting on a boat because I treat guests like family when they get on the boat. I greet them with a warm welcome. I strive to make each trip a memorial experience. My motto is let's go fishing. So I assist guests in catching largemouth bass. Largemouth bass are native to Central Florida. I supply all the rods and reels and the guests ride in comfort in my 22 foot fishing pontoon boat. And we have a lot of video of your boat. We spent a lot of time on it together. Yeah, it's, it's uh, my baby. It's a very comfortable boat, that's for sure. And I was really inspired earlier when we were talking before the show. You love the family side of what you do. I really do. Um, I, I have grandchildren and I love to see young people get encouraged to start fishing because let's face it, that's the future of the fishing industry is the young people. And once you get a young person in, interested in fishing, then they'll probably be a fisherman for life. Other excursions as well though, it's not just fishing. Right, um, I do um, all kinds of extra excursions. I do tubing, uh, where you pull a inflatable behind the boat. I pull the inflatable up beside the boat. All the occupants are gonna get on the uh, tube will wear a life jacket for safety. Um, we release the tube. Um, we pull the tube behind the boat rather quickly and the tube bounces with the waves. Right. And young children laugh, they scream, they, they, uh, they giggle, they, they do all the fun things on the water because uh, the wake of the boat creates some natural waves and when the tube goes over the wave, it doesn't necessarily just go over it, it sometimes comes out of the water 
and sometimes it, it uh, creates a, a great fun atmosphere. And then the, the really rewarding part is usually some of the parents see the fun and they want to get on there with the children <laughs> and do it too. Exactly. What's the best way to reach out? Well, I, I appreciate that. I have uh, a website, Butch's Fishing Charters.com, that, that I established to uh, allow customers to see more about what my business is all about. There's a lot of information on the website. And also I have a, have a reservation number, that's 321-352-9266. I found out early on that because I'm on the water quite a bit, it's unprofessional to take a customer's call while you're on the water trying to serve guests and have fun. This way uh, a, a nice lady takes my calls, she takes care of all the bookings, she does the schedule. In fact, my wife calls to find out what days I'm fishing, <laughs> that so that right? way, that way uh, she knows what day to plan family events. But <laughs> it works out really great for me. Sounds familiar. How long are these charters? Well, there's four-hour trips, six-hour trips, eight-hour trips. It really depends on the customer. What I try to do is, obviously, we fish, but we can do tubing. Uh, we also take people on a nice ride around some of the beautiful um, landscape where these multi-million-dollar homes are exposed. Plus, you get to see the wildlife. Uh, there's osprey nests. There's all kinds of beautiful um, uh, animals that are there to observe. And uh, we don't see too many alligators, but there are alligators yeah. in the water. Yeah. So uh, we watch for those, but uh, it's totally safe. The alligators are not a threat. Now, because he always does catch fish, guess who caught fish this morning and brought us some here today? I got to see him, Captain Butch. Well, I appreciate that. And uh, I uh, feel uh, more comfortable if I restrict the bass a little bit, um, they, they have a tendency to want to shake their heads because that's their natural instinct. So I've attached a fish holder, so to speak, that that's, doesn't harm the fish. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove them from a live well and hand one to you and hand one to Michaela. Let's do it. And then I'll pick one up as well. And then we can talk a little bit about it once we get them out. So I'm going to do that now. Let's take a look. Are you scared? I'm a little, I'm a little nervous. But, you know, I'm not. I think that one's for you. Yeah. Oh, hey, guy. Now, <laughs> uh, what's this one's name? <laughs> a bass? Oh, yeah, I'm just kidding. Oh, I, I didn't know if we named them. Oh, yeah. It. Let me get the other one here oh. so we can talk about it in a minute. <laughs> one thing that's beautiful about bass is this is why they call it a largemouth. You can see the size of that mouth. And as the fish get bigger, now these are live. Uh, yeah. Michaela's holding a live one. And what I will do today, you can see the beautiful colors there. They're really gorgeous in the water, and uh, ob obviously uh -oh. they're alive. And I let mine go, but that's okay. I can grab it again. But anyway, we're gonna we practice catch and release. What I do is I have two live wells on my boat, and people like to keep them uh, so at the end of the day, all their family can hold the fish like Michaela's holding that, and uh, that way everybody can brag at their friends and family about the fish they caught on my boat for that day. So. Isn't, aren't they gorgeous? They're, they're yes. really uh, beautiful, unique, fish. unique fish. And uh, and Michaela asked me if they have teeth. If you run your finger across the mouth, there's like like heavy duty sandpaper. But it isn't something that's going to create blood like uh, like a saltwater fish does. But they're gorgeous. Let me All get right. this one back in the live well yeah. so she can rest. Captain Butch Parsons, what a show, buddy! I'm coming out to see you soon. And what a way to spend time with your family at a reasonable price. Do something that they will never forget you got to reach out to Butch's Fishing Charters. That was awesome. Thank Fan you. Fantastic. And uh, what? I, I wasn't scared. No, Were you? No, no. Yeah, yeah. my face might. Qu you know. Quick break. <laughs> when we return, Justin's Choice. Finally, my favorite part of the show. It's Justin's Choice and Justin's Choice this week for best weekend family getaway goes to our good friends at Kittyverse. I have Simon at OI here. Hi guys, how are you? Great. Hi, Hi Justin. What an awesome place. What a great place you have down there. Tell me about all the activities at Kittyverse. Well, we have a lot actually. We have stuff for all ages. Um, so we have like a toddler section for the younger kids where they can like build with like large foam construction blocks or play with large Legos. Um, we also have stuff for older kids, uh, such as a climbing wall or uh, our, I think they call it the three tier obstacle course. Right. Um, basically they run through and see if they can race each other to the other side and like, you know, uh, 
They can climb up the walls if they please. Or we also have a large uh, climbing gym as well. So imagine like uh, those old playgrounds at McDonald's or whatever. Um, basically, they can climb in and you know hide from each other, play hide <laughs> and seek, tag. Yeah, all and then sorts there's of the wipeout, and yes. then there's the escape room. Wow. A kids' escape room. Now that's something you don't hear every day. Tell me about the children's escape room. Um, it's pretty interactive. They get to play different puzzles and games to try and get out of the room yeah. and things like that from age two to about ten. So it's pretty uh, unique. What a way to make lifetime family member memories. And it seems to me a lot of the kids these days are stuck on, at least my kids, YouTube at the house. Right? Like, you want to go somewhere? They're like, nah, I'll just watch YouTube all day. This yeah. is actually getting out. And really, does it matter how old your children are? If you have children of different ages, there's something for everyone. There's something from every kid from age zero to age 12. Yeah. So we try to make sure that they have something that they're doing that is not YouTube related. <laughs> exactly. But exactly. even those things that are TV related are actually physical activities that they get to do, which are actually quite interactive. And they get to do a lot of things that teach them a lot on, on um, hand and eye coordination. Absolutely. So things like that. Yeah. Speaking of big kids. Yeah, so if I don't have a kid, which like I don't, could I potentially go? At Kidiverse, everyone is a kid, <laughs> so you're more than welcome to please stop by. Well, and also I think that is important that the parents, when you go there with your children, you can interact with your kids while you're there as well, isn't that right? Yes, it is, because actually with the way we actually have a section for parents, so they can actually keep an eye on the kids and their line of sight towards the kids and what they're doing on all the activities is just direct. We have free Wi-Fi surveys. They can grab a cup of coffee from the cafe while they do what they're doing. Now, it's also a great place for a party. Tell me about it's that. Fantastic. Oh, we Absolutely. have several packages for the kids, and uh, we actually have different party rooms, and um, I'll let Simon talk more on that one. Sure. Yeah, you. yeah, so um, we have a bunch of different packages that include a lot of different things. We have, you know, more affordable packages, you know, that uh, include like balloons and simple decorations, uh, you know, pizza, stuff like that for 10 kids, but we also, provide packages that have a lot more included, you Feed know. parties for yeah, them, exactly. so they can come in and be a princess or a prince for a day, so whatever wow. they decide to be, yes. Where are you guys located exactly? We're located on North Frontage Road. Got it. So we're about five, ten minutes from the airport. Yes, uh, yes so. beautiful. Now what is the best way to reach out? Maybe I want to reach out to set up a party, and what a great way as a parent to really get in good with your children, having them a party mm. at Kittyverse. Yes. What's the best way to reach out for more information? Uh, for more information, we're actually on Instagram at Kittyverse, and um, our phone number is what's the phone number? Go ahead, Simon, tell that me. That is actually a good question. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I think we'll, we'll put the phone number on the yes. screen. I think yeah. what a uh, you know, yeah. the website so interactive yes, as well. Yes, at Kittyverse.com. Yes. Yes, our Kittyverse.com. It has all of our birthday information. Um, it has our phone number as well, email. So any way that you could contact us is on the website. Yeah, and I think there are a lot of kids right now going back to school as well. I think you probably have some back to school specials and you know, kids are probably stressed out right now going back to school. So, what a great way to spend some time with your kids yes. at Kittyverse. Yes, that is true. We do have those packages and we also have some classes that are coming up for kids who are not in school just yet. Right. So we're going to be putting those out on the website soon enough. You know, it's one of those things too, with a nine-year-old and a three-year-old like I have, to be able to take them to one place, place. and they can both have so much yes. fun together, and, but also doing different things. Yes. Different. Oh, absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. They get to play dress up as well, which I think is quite. Who doesn't love dress up? <laughs> yeah. I know, right? Yeah. So we have different dress up costumes and things like that, and then they have the Legos and the characters that they musical can instruments as there. well. They can actually become a band, a family yeah. band. So you can be on the drums, and someone has the mic, and yeah. So. Unbelievable. Great job today. Oh, thank why? You. Thank, thank you, you so, so much, much, Simon. Awesome. Excellent thank work. You. Kittyverse, what an outstanding place. Thank, thank you guys you. for being here. Thank you. That was an interesting show today. It I mean, was. three very distinct ways to make memories with your family. I still smell like fish, by the way. I know, I do too. That's all I can smell right now is fish. It's a little bit crazy, huh? But uh, great job today, Michaela. Thank you so much to our WKMG base crew. Most importantly, thank you for spending your Sundays here with us on Best of Central Florida. Do me a favor, hit record series now, and I'll tell you one thing. We'll see you right back here noon next Sunday for Best of Central Florida.